Hey guys and gals, A here. Welcome to another episode of EDC. So today I have a backpack review for you. Want to know what backpack is sitting here right in front of me and my thoughts on it? Come on back because here we go. All right, guys and gals. So today I have a new bag for you, and this is a brand that some of you may have heard of, some of you may not have. Um, I first heard about it about 15 years ago, probably, and uh, I've been eyeing their stuff and wanting to get it for a while, and uh, it is on the pricier side. And so I finally, uh, I ended up getting one of their bags. Uh, it's a backpack and I got to uh, test it out, give it a shot and see what I thought. And this is by Tom Ben, T-O-M-B-I-H-N. And they make all kinds of uh, backpacks, sling bags, you can get duffel bags, organizer pouches, all kinds of stuff. And uh, this backpack is not cheap. Like I said, it comes in at $225. Um, but as you can see from all of the zippers on here, there is tons of organization. Um, there's a lot going on with this bag and the products, uh, the, the materials they use, the quality of this, I am blown away by. Absolutely blown away by. So uh, they use all YKK zippers, uh, which is you know the the good zippers the ones that are that are solid uh this is their synapse 19 and this is a 19 liter backpack as the name suggests and i've got some notes here on it real quick um so this bag comes in at 11.4 inches across it is 16 inches tall and it can uh, expand to 7.9 inches deep and now this backpack, uh, it is, this color is kind of a, um, a khaki-ish kind of color with the grid pattern. And that is a Halicon uh, nylon. And uh, it is a 400 denier. So it's a, uh, it's a robust pack. Like it's, it's gonna hold up to putting it to work and to being used. Uh, and it's going to repel water very, very well. Water will just kind of roll off of this nylon material. Um, but it is not such a thick material that there's no give and stretch and, and movement to. This bag will move and adjust. And I have had no issues with this. This bag is, uh, for me, I have been using it as an everyday carry bag. And I'm able to hold stuff for my two-year-old in here. So I've got, you know, diapers and clothes in here for him. And so this bag is, it's getting slung over a shoulder. And, you know, we're running out the door. It's getting tossed into the floor of the vehicle. Um, and then it's, you know, being slung over the shoulder and running into a store. Sometimes it's getting thrown in the cart. Sometimes it's being worn. But this, we have not treated this gently because um, we wanted to see the durability of it. Could it hold up to, I'm getting my two-year-old, you know, buckled into the car seat, so I'm just tossing this on the floor and, you know, we're rocking and rolling. Yeah, it can. It really, really can. And it can hold a lot of gear and it can separate the gear. Um, so now this is a, a lot of bags that I use are uh, tactical bags and tactical bags have packet, pockets and pockets and pockets, zippered pockets, slip pockets, elastic bands to hold your gear, like more organization than you can probably use and still utilize the backpack. This is not like that at all. And I'll show you what I mean as we get into it. But one of the first things that you can see is uh, there is no water bottle pocket um, externally. So uh, the back here, we'll go into this. These are closed cell foam straps and they have, uh, here is some, oh, sorry, didn't mean to hit my mic. There is some webbing here and uh, adds a little loop. This is where you would attach the sternum strap and you could buckle it across to help hold it uh, stable. Uh, I took that off myself. And on this side, I put a little circle shaped, uh, uh, molly attached pouch. I just buckled it on and inside of here I keep some uh, hand sanitizer 
and that's per like I would rather have it you know like clipped on and dangling but uh, my two-year-old is obsessed with sanitizing and so anytime he sees it he wants to open it and you know have clean hands which is fine um, but then I have no sanitizer when I actually need it or want it so he, ha he has no idea that it's in here and he has no desire to open that but if I just had the sanitizer itself clipped onto here and dangling it would be empty all the time from him um, but so closed cell straps, very nice, very nice padding. My arms, my shoulders did not get tired at all carrying this. It didn't rub into my neck. Uh, excellent, excellent shoulders. And we found that the husband and I could easily switch back and forth from this. He just, uh, when he'd put it on, he'd kind of pull up on this to, uh, to loosen it up a little bit to fit him better. And then when I put it on, I would just grab this and pull till it felt good on me. But so super easy to change the length of it um, and super comfortable in general. Uh, sorry about that, had the noise going on in the background. I didn't realize that. <laughs> totally spaced out and doing my thing here but excellent excellent shoulder straps and then the back of this this is a 210 denier ballistic nylon and it has some texture there that you can see it adds for breathability when it's on your back it's going to help to whisk away the moisture and keep you from sweating and then down here that is just a closed cell foam um, uh, with the the uh, material on the front to uh, to protect it but uh, let me rephrase that. That is a 210 denier ballistic nylon. That is the mesh. And they both have closed cell behind them. The closed cell foam. So super comfortable. Excellent grab handle. I cannot tell you how many times I leave it. I leave this bag sitting on the floor near the front door. And I would grab it and walk out the door just like that. So excellent, excellent grab handle. Let's go through some pocket layouts. So we'll start with this one right here. And uh, you open this up, and now you get to see the interior of the bag, which is a gray with the grid pattern as well. This pocket is actually fairly deep. It comes down to this seam right here, but it is not, it is, it's as wide as you see. So it stays right in here, but comes all the way down to that seam. And uh, inside of here, I put, I kind of made this uh, my tool pocket somewhat. And I'm stuck. Come on. There we go. So I have a uh, Black Scout Survival uh, Through Night V5 flashlight in here. I have a uh, sheath with a multi-tool. And the, um, the bits on the side here. That is the, uh, I'm rocking in here, the Gerber Dual Force. So really cool. Uh, multi-tool have a review on that one and that is all I have in this pocket so quick access to a flashlight quick access to a multi-tool which also means quick access to a blade and then this front pocket that sits right in front of that this is a shallow pocket so it comes down to right here and again it, it, it runs along these seams so it is as wide as you see this pocket is where I keep my quick access stuff got some hand warmers Got some of these uh, cold shower wipes, very good for cleaning up. Got some suckers, those are the bribery to keep the two-year-old calm in a store. Some wet ones here, uh, some goodies, a headache powder. I have some lip balm there, the spearmint flavor. And then last but not least, I have some uh, gold bond lotion, lotion up the hands during winter. But that's quick access items, super easy to get to those. And they're all the little things I want easily. And when I put stuff in here, it doesn't really hinder putting stuff in the pocket right behind it, which is super cool. Now we'll go to these funky shaped uh, pockets on the sides here. So those open up. And this is about the only organization you get in this. You, get, you have a little slip pocket right here. And then you have this big opening. This is meant for your water bottle. This is where you would put a water bottle if you had one. I do have a little 20 ounce Coke bottle sitting on the table with me. And I actually haven't tried this yet. So this will fit in there. So you can fit your 20 ounce bottle in there and zip up this pocket, no problem. I actually haven't even, even tried to do that yet. So there you go. But that is your, your water bottle pocket is on either side like that. And then you have this elastic band here Inside of here, I have my uh, pocket knife. That is the 
Almar Eagle Ultralight. I have some nail clippers. And then I have some uh, Fruit Punch Juice Flavor in. Add that to the water and uh, get a little flavor going on. And then you do have an O-ring in here. So you can attach something uh, inside of there if you would like. The other side is the same type of thing going on with a little more organization in here slightly. So inside of here, I have a uh, Tied to Go stick, got my spare earbuds, have a little uh, Bic lighter in the bottom. And then I was able to fit inside of this pocket. This is the, uh, let's see here. This is the, uh, I think that might actually be, yeah, that is the, this is a four by six uh, right in the rain notebook fit perfectly standing up inside of there. And then on this side, you have three pin pockets. And so I've got a black pin, a blue pin, and then a blue permanent marker. And inside of here, we have an O-ring as well. So you're ready to rock and roll. And that takes care of those side pockets, which are actually very cool. Nice way to store a water bottle. Uh, when you store a water bottle, at least for me, in like the main compartment of a bag, because there are no outside sections, I'm always concerned it's going to leak and spill on whatever is inside the main part. With them being here, it's almost like you have an external water bottle pocket just enclosed in the bag because you can't make it where all this is is a water bottle pocket. You're not going to waste a lot of space because it is small and very much sized for a water bottle. However, if you don't want to use it as a water bottle, you can obviously fill it up with other gear very easily. So down here on the bottom, we have this little pocket and I made that my first aid kit. And so I've got a little a little boo-boo kit in here. It's got some Tums, some Pepto Kids, some Tylenol for kids, some uh, BC powder for adults, some Benadryl, some Manuka honey, and then some Band-Aids. So it's a little first aid kit. And I actually went to this hard case uh, because here is one of the, uh, the little medicines that I had for my little dude. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but that has turned into powder. So even though it's in its own case and it is enclosed, this being just loose in bags and pouches I had got powdered. And I was like, well, that's not cool. He can't take that. So I actually got this little Pelican 1010. It's their micro case and I got it in red cause you know, first aid. And so now I can fit a lot of first aid stuff in here and none of it will get crunched up. And that fits very well down here. And then in here loose as well, I have a ibuprofen and a Tylenol. So quick access to first aid. It doesn't interfere with anything else. If uh, the husband's wanting to grab something, I'm not around. Hey, it's in the bottom pocket. He'll be able to find it, no problem. So that takes care of all of the, the small and um, uh, you know external pockets. And then you got one pocket left, and that is the main pocket. And it unzips uh, like a little more than halfway down the bag. So the bag's not gonna fall open, but it's definitely gonna open well enough to access what you want. You can really see that gray grid pattern in here. I'm kind of digging this. I love a high-vis interior because I love to be able to see what's in there. This very much allows you to see what is in the bag, but it doesn't scream, hey, look at me, like an orange interior does when you're out in public. So I'm like really, really digging this gray interior. But so this one, uh, we've got a little keeper attached in here on an O-ring. There's an O-ring on, on this side here, the O-ring on this side that that was attached to. You have two loops here at the top. There we go. Two loops at the top so you can attach something. There are also two loops on the inside so you can attach something there. And then this has one little sleeve slip pocket. Inside of that pocket itself, I actually don't have anything, but uh, inside the main compartment here, I've got the uh, pants for the little dude, diaper, uh, some wipes down here, and then I have, I slipped this in here just as, it's, as itself to be a little organizer since there's not a lot of, of organization in the bag itself. And so I made this a tech kit. So I have a large uh, battery bank right there, and then inside of here, I have all the charging cables I need. So 
we need to charge something while we're out and about. I've got the cables for my phone, for my husband's phone, uh, as well as uh, for a little man's uh, tablet. And then we got a battery bank that could power them. So we're ready to rock and roll there. And it easily just drops into here along with all of his stuff that is already in here. And I've got plenty more room. So if I needed to add other things here, uh, clothes, uh, hats, jackets for anyone, we got room for that. Uh, you could also store your laptop in here. This would definitely be the laptop or the tablet pocket. So just a, a lot of room inside of this bag to carry, honestly, whatever you want it to. This could easily become a school bag. Uh, you're not going to load it up with a ton of books because it is 19 liters, but you could load it up with quite a few. They do sell a 25 liter one if you need more space. But I am, I am very impressed with the quality of this bag. I don't see any loose threads. I don't see any worn spots. And we have been tossing this bag around on purpose. And you also have a little lashing point down here at the bottom if you wanted to add something there. But I, uh, I was very much looking forward to trying out the Tom Ben products. And I am not at all disappointed. You, you are going to spend some money to get these products. But man, oh man, are they worth it. Like I can honestly say this is going to be a, fa a favorite bag of ours for a very, very long time to come. And uh, it'll get used a lot of different ways for us. So uh, yeah, if you haven't heard of Tom Ben, definitely go check them out. I will have a link down below uh, to their website and to that backpack. Um, but yeah, I enjoy the bag. I will continue using it and carrying it. And uh, yeah, I'll have some new stuff here for you soon. So guys, I will never ask you to like or subscribe. You do you. But I would appreciate it if you did both. Definitely comment below. Let me know if you've used some Tom Ben products or uh, what you think of this backpack. And I will be back with some new material soon. So remember, EDC, EDC.